All right, we'll start with the opening statement from Coach and then open up for questions. Yeah, well, end result, um, obviously pretty good. Um, I thought we battled um, defensively. Um, felt bad initially for the pit kid, for sure. Not initially, but that injury early, that just that's terrible for any kid. So um, hopefully it's it's not too serious and the kid gets back. Um, she's a good player for them. Um, you know, and I thought it, it, we obviously started a little slow um, offensively. I don't know that we found any great rhythm for most of the night. Um, I thought there was too many fouls probably on both teams. Um, took away some of the flow and the tempo to it when you're fouling and walking the length or taking the ball out of bounds. So not a lot of great flow, not a ton of rhythm. Um, I think we, well, we shot six for 30 from the three, so that's not very good. Um, but I thought we did. We attacked the paint. That was one of our goals. Um, we assumed they would probably switch to the zone defense at some point, maybe came a little bit quicker than, than what we thought. Um, at times, I thought we attacked it really well. Um, other times, I thought we were stagnant and probably settled um, for some jump shots, but got to the free throw line where I thought we shot it really, really well tonight. Um, had 18 offensive rebounds. So did they. So that didn't help. But um, we certainly won the turnover margin by a pretty good um, percentage, which has been our identity since I've been here. And we're off to a good start this year, turning people over. And uh, if we're not making shots, that at least allows us to find some easy offense. Coach JJ came out really aggressive tonight. Was that something that you guys talked about and trying to get her going? Did she just kind of have that mindset of trying to find her offense? Well, a little bit of both. We did talk to her. Um, since the last game, just trying to get her to settle and, you know, stay aggressive, though. I wanted her to do that. Um, you know, she'll be disappointed. I'm sure she knows what she shot from the three, but if not, she'll see it soon. Um, so I'm sure she's a little disappointed there, but we need her to stay aggressive. Um, you know, she's she's the leader. She's the scorer. She's an All-American type kid. So, um, you know, a little high volume tonight, but that's okay. Um, I think we feed off of that, too. So we're okay. She'll, she'll keep getting better. You mentioned this a little bit in your opening comments. Do you get to a point where shots just start going down the, from the perimeter against a packed in zone and say, hey, no matter what, we've really got to work or we've got to get it to the high post or the mid lane? Yeah, I think you start to check. I liked most of the threes. I mean, there was a couple maybe that I didn't like. But they're like they're open, I should say. Now, if you're not making them off of like reversal passes, then we would like for them to come from the inside out. So that's what we really try to talk about is can we get the paint touch, you know, and, and – when you shoot, you put your the guns up and all that, and then it kicks it to you always from underneath the basket. So that's still the most comfortable shot. You know, right? Passing it around the perimeter, you don't practice that a whole lot. So those inside-out threes are always what we want, and we want to play through that paint. So if we can't get layups, we're getting inside-out threes, and that's where I thought we settled. We weren't getting paint touches before we were launching the threes. And um, I thought the second half we did a better, uh, made a few adjustments on kind of how we wanted to attack the zone, and I thought we did a much better job in the second half. Mark, talk about it. JJ, what, in your experience, gets players out of slumps? Uh, I just think you have to keep working, which um, she's a worker. I don't think there's any magic formula. Um, I think the more she sees the ball go through the hoop, though, the more comfortable she's going to get. And uh, I think she'll be up here after me, and you can kind of ask her. But I think it's just senior year. There's a lot. There's expectations. There's things that haven't been around, you know, for her, for our team. And so, again, I, I think we're going to continue to forget about those things and, and really start to settle in. And, and I think this game will help. And obviously playing A&M coming up will probably help, too, and keep her focused. So you just got to work through it. How do you see, if at all, how much when the shots aren't falling early, how much it impacts the defense and the press and what you're trying to get at? Well, it, it always can. Um, we want to be the team, though, that we don't allow that to happen. But kids always want to play harder on defense when they're scoring on offense, right? Everybody that makes a three, they're celebrating and they're down in their defensive stance, you know, and those types of things. Um, but we, I think we have the ability to grind out games. I thought we did that last year um, if we had to. Um, you know, we can win a low scoring game. We can win a game if it gets into the 70s or 80s. Um, I've never wanted to be defined by one end, um, but you got to hang your hat on defense on a night like, or at least for the first half. I thought that's what kind of kept us in it until we could find some flow. Coach, why is this series not continuing? Um, we, uh, I don't know. Uh, we asked to continue it or we would continue it. So I, I don't think they wanted to continue, but you would have to ask, have to ask them. Getting into some of that rhythm in the second half you were talking about, it looked like you were able to set some screens against their the center of their 2-3 and get the ball inside, get some shots that are relatively uncontested for that close. It's kind of a new thing for this team, for you, so is that something you've got to just look at? Yeah, well, I think we'll, the more we play against it, the more comfortable, you know, and we do play some zone, but it's not like what they do. And, you know, they were really pulling their middle up 
really high, starting on the logo almost. And so we thought there was some space behind it. Um, we had her a couple times, and I think we turned it over a little bit. I thought CC was pretty good playing the high post. And, you know, that's kind of our conundrum, I guess, is, you know, the way we start, we don't have as much of a paint dominant presence with Kylie so you know unfortunately we just didn't get her as many minutes as we would like um, but we went a little bit bigger and went with CC and Jordan Thomas and I thought Tirza gave us some really really good minutes tonight so um, but CC can pass and she's big and so we really wanted her in the high post um, you know move Kaya to the perimeter a little bit um, so we have some options we have some versatility I'm still working through it to figure it out night in and night out but I thought we found something there a little bit with that one group what you see of your uh, interior defense on the other side, obviously guarding uh, Felix? She had a bunch of offensive rebounds. Did you think of their effort tonight? Uh, well, it was okay. Obviously not good enough when we give up eight offensive rebounds. Um, you know, she's pretty good at normally getting her own, but those weren't tonight. She was getting everybody else's. And so, yeah, we've got to do a better job on the boards. Um, I thought we were a little bit better. Um, this year than we were a year ago. Uh, we're still not going to be a great rebounding team, but if we can continue to turn people over and still hold even, which, you know, we got 18, they got off 18, so we held held true there. and um, You know, so we get the advantage on the turnovers, we'll still win the possession battle. Coach, you were obviously talking about the shooting percentages, uh, the fouls, and, you know, kind of muddy things up a little bit, but did you see glimpses tonight of what this team could be, small spurts, yeah, yeah, yeah. In spurts, we've seen it through all three games. Um, but, yeah, there was moments of this game that were great. And, you know, great crowd, great environment again tonight for a November game. And against Pitt, I thought we felt it. I thought we turned them over. They called the first time out of the second half. That's something we talk about all the time. And that means we're probably imposing our will a little bit. And so maybe took us a little bit longer. Um, but that happens. That's a lot of, you know, pressure sometimes doesn't take effect until – later in the game when conditioning and those types of things um, take over. So, yeah, I was proud of our second half for sure. Third quarter still started a hair slow, but then I thought by the end of the third and the fourth, we were we were kind of rocking. Getting that film against the zone this early against a power four opponent, is that a luxury at all to you? Yeah, oh yeah, no, we'll be able to clip this up. We had not seen really a whole lot of zone yet this year. Like I said, we played in practice some, but you get pretty comfortable playing it against yourselves. And so, yeah, good to see it a different way. We know we're going to see it. Uh, I think some people will have a hard time guarding us off the dribble, so they're going to try to take away some space and dare us to make some perimeter shots. But I think this team really shoots it well. I know we didn't tonight, but this is a really good three-point shooting team, and they'll get more comfortable understanding what shots to take against the zone. Did you see what happened? Were you given an explanation on the double tech uh, that took place? Yeah, I mean, they get, yeah, I got an explanation. I really didn't see much. I, mean, I don't know. I think the Washington's – Took the shot. J.J. contested it. Their hands got tied up. J.J. did, I think, kind of retaliate, I guess, or pushed her. That's what they got. Um, and then I don't know what happened down there on their bench. I know somebody was kind of popping off to J.J., and she kind of walked over there. But um, So there was a double technical, and then the coach got teed up. So then we got the two free throws. It was offsetting until the coach technical. Mark, how do you go about integrating girls in over the summer? Because if you look, you know, Jordan Thomas, C.C., Sydney Shaw, newcomers that – through three games of giving you really good minutes. Yeah, well, we had the luxury of the foreign trip, so that definitely helped. Um, we got to really grow early in the summer. We got the the practices, so you get to full practice dang near as much as you want. So, you know, I would say we were a little ahead of it for the newcomers than what they would typically be. Um, but those are talented kids. Um, a lot of them have already played college basketball, other than Jordan Thomas, but Shaw, Woodley, CC have all played college basketball. So usually those kids can transition a little bit quicker. You talked all offseason about wanting to grow the fandom here, get people out to games, 3,600. What do you think of the energy tonight and moving forward? How much can that impact? Yeah, I hope a ton. Uh, we felt it when we walked out. It was you know great. The students, thank you, students. We have to start giving out concession vouchers maybe a little bit more, uh, free beer and concession vouchers, which we are doing again on Friday. So go ahead and come on back for the Aggies. Uh, but phenomenal. I think the students create just a whole different vibe too. But thankful for the, for the faithful that are here every night. And uh, I think we're growing it. So hopefully they come and enjoy the product. And I think we play a fun way. And it'll keep getting better. I mean, there's a lot going on this time of year. It's all the crossover sports and – I was going to say high school sports, but maybe not right now. They're trying to get that one that one figured out. But uh, uh, other than that, uh, I know we got football this weekend here and, and a big opportunity for those guys. So there's a lot going on this time of year. I think it'll continue to grow if we'll continue to do our part. And uh, we're off to a good start. Thanks, Coach.